Uh, but the start is like three days ago. For one week ago or something. Ah. What's this piece called again? Let's see, what did I play? I played uh, Satis, um, that thing. What's it called? It's like the third one of something that's famous. Uh, the second one was Debussy's... Uh, I forgot the number. It's the A major out of this. The third one was... I think I did Beethoven's uh, Pathétique, second movement. The one after that was Chopin's uh, Opus 10 number 3, so his uh, third etude. And final one was Liszt's uh, uh, Paganini etude 3. Or as the French call it, like Grande Etude après Paganini or something. Can you play just from listening to something? No, I am notoriously bad at ear music, but I'm pretty good at sight reading. I'm also really bad with like weird rhythms. So if you give me like a jazzy piece, I will struggle so hard, even if it's like considered easy. Whereas if you give me a piece from like a style that I'm comfortable with, um, I'd be able to perform much better, even if it's supposed to be more difficult. I think the biggest accomplishment for me was uh, mostly sight reading Chopin's um, octave etude. A friend showed it to me. Um, and I'm, I'm really good with octaves because I played a lot of lists back in my days. Anyway, um, I need to focus dip and re redo everything I did. <laughs> so I need to flip Austrian. Well, I need to click the missions, which uh, I didn't do. I don't get why the burgers are perma pissed. By the way, does anyone know a way around Crownland update on dip annexation? No, I have terrible uh, oral skills. Oral, like ear. In like mu in music theory class, I always performed really poorly on intervals. So what will happen in exams is they'd play something and then you have to identify like the interval like is a perfect fourth perfect fifth like how far apart it is you don't have to actually identify the notes those are reserved for the people with so-called perfect pitches um, and wasn't at all required at least in my training um, and I guess like scales and chords like They'd play that, and they'd ask you what that was. That would be like an interval test. And then like a scale test would be like... Uh, that's a perfect fourth, the one I did. F to B flat. I can actually, I can recognize the perfect fourth. I can recognize certain um, intervals by associating with pieces. Like perfect fifth, I associate with uh, uh, Mozart's variations. That's a perfect fifth, and so on. Yeah, so, so I, I would suck at it. Like, I, I sucked at it. I, I, I trained, trained in quotes, and I was just never good at it. Why go back? Because I fucked up. I was a, I, I want to test an AI behavior. I want to test if a coalition dissolves, so I sped five for like one year, um, while overextended as fuck. Um, just to test if coalitions will leave, and it didn't, and I thought I kept the save file, but I didn't, so, yeah.
So shit happens. And the uh, closest safe out now is this one. So here I am. I'm re-energized, ready to um, go full ham. Today we're going to get to 1520, that's my goal. Tritone is easy to identify, fair. Although I, I've... Uh, I've I've made my share of misidentifying tritones with one of the perfect ones. I can definitely identify an octave though. Like oct you give me an octave, I can easily do it. Um, I can probably identify a minor second. Minor second and octave, I'm pretty confident I can do no matter what. Okay, so. Is there any way I can like make this dev pushing less ass? I don't think so. I guess last time we learned that I have tons of admin, so I guess it doesn't really matter. What? Oh, right, right, right. And I have to do that thing where I update my uh, force limit by doing this. Oh, that updates my economy, not my force limit. So now I have to do this. Sit. Oh. Okay. Uh, what else do I have to do? Maybe I have to like fake build a unit. Wait, why is it still fifty? Oh, right. Sorry, I have to uh keep it stated. Not the other way around. Still don't get why this bug happens. Hopefully that's enough. Yeah. There you go. Alright. So. Don't accidentally click on this. That will, that will be really ass. Just lose 50 perform progress. There's a jazz piece that has a flat fifth, and the real book said it wrong as a fifth, even though there's a bit interesting. How'd you rank government types? So if you allow for HRE, monarchy, and horde, well, monarchy's quite up there. Horde's obviously number one. Uh, if you don't allow HRE, then I think like theocracy and republic are pretty promising. I guess if you don't allow Horde, Horde's pretty bad, you know. You don't want to play a Horde when you're banning a Horde. Show professionalism. Sure, here you go. Alright, so we do... Austria. How'd you have enough mill for that? Well, I did have slack in... Oh no, I only slack in a few times. Like, I didn't need to slack in too many times. Being, being HRE early on really helps with manpower. Okay. We all ready for this? I think I'm ready for this. Yeah. I'm ready. Let's go. Are, are you okay, Pagoose? 
All right, can you handle Austria if you're already this excited? Okay. All right. Wait, why did my crown line go up? Because I death pushed. So, what to do? Let's seize something in Asia. Okay. You see it? Get a merchant. And I just get claims on shit that I don't know about. Isn't that hilarious? Does it say I have a CD? I guess we'll find out. Um, click on that. Click on that. Click on that. Okay, yeah, that should be good once they update. Where does Merchant go again? Click down. Or steer down. I guess. Now I need to unstate. Uh, let's feed Syria back. Might be. Here you go. Okay. Uh, flip to French. Yep. French. Yep. Flip back French. Does that affect us? Just curious. No, looks like it does force Austrian culture. You know, it's kind of nice that I get CBs in India. Okay. Um, what else? Okay, now I can state stuff. Right, let me reload the game. That'll probably fix this buggy interface. You know, sometimes I end when I need to do, like, sort of these sorts of things, like bureaucratic things. I think in these scenarios, it actually makes sense for me to just start and not bother waiting for people to trickle in. Oh, of course. And now it's 90 for a month thick, so gotta do that. And then we're happy. I still don't know when to go Golden Era, by the way. I feel like at this rate, I'm going to save Golden Era till 1821.
All right, everything good so far? 80%. This makes it 100. Okay. Um... The question is... Oh! Reloading does that? Interesting. I did not know reloading make AIs calculate uh, elections. That's probably somehow useful to know. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, the thing is, um, well, I guess it say it helps unjustified demands, right? Ooh, right. It it does help with unjustified demands. For sure, it's additive, actually. Sadly, this doesn't update. So I do suffer one month tick where I don't get one minor point. Okay. So I'm going to keep this save file in case I ever fuck up and go back. I don't have to go through that unstating mess ever again. Right now, what? Oh yeah, these are all my vessels. So, what if? Hmm. I'm not sure how I should handle this. No, I'm not coring France yet. I can't because of Paris anyway. And these idiots aren't coring it, so I have to core this myself. What if I just integrate one vessel? Can I handle... That much opinion loss? I probably can, right? Might be a good idea. So, Portugal's a march. This guy doesn't need to be a march. Fine. March Ferrara. Uh, looks like I redid. Um, okay. I think everything looks good. I think Portugal is making too much money, so I'm gonna yoink. That's just going to make Aragon rich, though, because I don't have a merchant to take advantage of it. Yeah, it might be a good idea to integrate one vassal. And just one. But before I do that, I need to uh, diplo vassalize him. That's three months. Okay. Hello, Trinus. Thank you for the 13. I wonder if I should start conquering South Germany aggressively. I could, right? To deal with coalitions. Yeah, what if I just do that? What if I just, like, conquer everyone and their mother?
and then just conquer everyone. That way I'd have to deal with a coalition. It's an idea. And then I could just release vassals on the newly conquered land, integrate them, and then feed it over to Death Martian to convert to the site. Does that work? I mean, like, I don't have to deal with OE. I'm... <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I, maybe that's an idea, honestly. Ah, there's one downside with conquering everything. I'm not going to be able to do this mission because I need uh, 10 free cities. Although, I guess I could just return province and then make 10 free cities. If, that, if I really want to. Yeah, this will last me for 20 years without getting other sources of dip annex cost. So this is pretty valuable, I think. Yeah, so let's just do that. I can even like leave the free cities alive. Do you think I have enough dip rep to make new free cities? Uh, looks like it's three per dip rep. Round it down. Um. 0.1 per opinion, and then friendly attitude. So, yeah, I should be able to grant free city status to monarchies later. So, I could just kill the free cities as well. So, what does that leave if I just kill everyone here? That leaves these guys. So I need to truce lock these guys and the Muslim world. That sounds like a pain, but I guess I have to do that. Okay. Alright. I think I'm good to go then. Alright, I, I, I don't know if this will work. Th this is a bit of a gamble, like, I could totally fuck this up. I feel like it's a smart gamble. Place your bet. Yeah, place your bet. Do you think this will work? Oh, also, I think I need to seize... How loyal is Toulouse? Like, can I do this? Okay. I can connect my land. That will give me more CBs. Okay, so I think here's how it's going to go. I'm going to... Dow Bohemia... And for Bohemia, I think I'm just going to leave it as that. I think. Yeah. Just going to die Bohemia and leave them as is. <laughs> so I'll do that next month. So next month, I'll ally Death Martian, die Bohemia, and then vassalize Death Martian during the war. Okay. 
kind of wish I can Dao Tunis here. But, well, I have a claim. It's just that the steel will... Hmm. Yeah, I could Dao Tunis and call in Castile, right? Oh. Great. Alright. And then I'll seize Lyonne. Connect my capital. That'll give me claims in various places, right? Where? It's like connect. Yeah, this thing. Yeah, so that gives me claims on Switzerland, East Swabia, West Swabia, Baden. Okay. So I get claims on these guys and these guys. Alright, I can do it. Pretty sure I can do it. So let's do a quick Bohemia War. Does that mean I can't True Stock Islands or should I fight everyone? I can just fight everyone, right? Yeah, I'll just fight everyone. Okay, so I just have to do True Slot. Okay, Poland, I'm gonna ally actually. I think I need them for the Ottomans. Add favors, yep. I'm not gonna join their wars though, so please don't down Muscovy. Okay, and then I call them in for Ottomans. Ottomans will just be a slow war. I don't really care to win quickly. England? I will be at peace with Bohemia by then. So in hindsight, I, I, it might have been better if I didn't ally Poland for one more year. Oh well. So let's let's do it. Uh, so I need to wait one month though. Uh, what should I do with my diplomats in the meantime? I'll just improve with subjects. Yo, stop. You can't win. Alright. Well, no Castile. Whatever. Why is Castile domineering? Because I had to introduce an heir to complete an Austria mission. What? I think AI is just super dumb. I think what happened was they flipped domineering, so they hate me. So they broke RM. But if you break RM, you lose your uh, PUCB, so now they're friendly. Is that how it worked? Because I think we were married at one point. And of course, me dropping my air doesn't really do anything. I'm not going to integrate because if I integrate people... I'm going to get coalitioned. The reason I'm not getting coalitioned by the Germans is because I have positive opinion. I integrate a single Eternation, nation, and I'll probably get coalitioned. So I'm going to just prune some of the 
technicians here. Really? You just get to... Really? That's how it works? That's kind of bizarre to me, but okay. Okay, so he will be my vassal. Now I do this. I guess I'll call him in. Whatever, it'll make the work quicker. Wait, if I integrate a vassal, I keep the tier, right? So I should just start this now. How long does this take again? Like 20 years, maybe 25 years. I'm going to integrate them in 13. Uh, I mean, I, I'll still speed it up. So I think I should do it. I assume the progress doesn't stay when you integrate. So I'll probably just have to buy it uh, right before I integrate Aragon. Why doesn't forming Austria give perma claims on Germany? I feel like I should. Ah, I did have an opportunity to rival Ottomans. I could probably do it still. Okay, you are now my vessel. Welcome. By the way, I realized that there's an event in Asia... Reformation. 
that makes Hussites uh, Protestants. Which is a bit annoying. Seems like there's a 20% chance that the AI remains Hussite. So you might say, yeah, let's just bird it. But I have to bird for both Bohemia and the Tmarchen, which is a bit yikes. So I might consider integrating the Tmarchen and then releasing them or releasing someone. And Bohemia, I'll just have to bird, I guess. Do I have a claim on this dude? Uh, I think I'm okay. So maybe I should build a flagship. By the way, what, what, uh, what combos do you go for a flagship? Any MP nerds out there? Is it morale? Are any of you MP nerds, though? When it comes to combat, I trust MP nerds. Yeah, with the morale move speed sounds right to me. But... Does anyone actually know navies? Supposedly, yes. So, actually, let me shout out this dude. Well, someone should verify if he's right, but, uh... Let me shout out this guy. I, I sort of skimmed it, and... He seems like... He knows what he's talking about, I think. Check this guy out. Like, I... Like, uh, he seems to give formulas on... Combat. Now, See? Simply a couple of Is this true? I don't know. But it seems well-researched. I can go into tactics in another video, because it's largely the same as land combat. Now, first real thing you need to be under you need to understand is engagement priority. Just like you wouldn't want cavalry at the front of your... in the center of your army, or your artillery in the front line, you don't want to have your transports being the tip of the spear. As a result, the priority of ships that will go in are first heavy ships, then galleys, then light ships, and transports, until either one of two things happens. Either your engagement with is filled, or, in the alternative... You okay, well, I'm not going to watch the entire thing with you guys. It's 40 be minutes. Of. But anyway, they this seems fairly in-depth. And then he goes into... Um, or below. They get target selection. Apparently this is how it works. double the amount. In other words, if you have a ship that is below 50%, a little bit more later, the ship from sinking. Once the ship hits 0.5 morale, they'll try to disengage. It does not cause the morale hit from a ship being sunk if you disengage. Yeah, yeah. 
Countries have a default 10% chance to disengage each tick once it reaches 0.5 morale. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, anyway. So, as the that means that apparently some people do know numbers. how naval combat works. In other words, there, huh, I never knew this matters. I thought this was just like EU3 artifact, but I guess this is used for disengaging. Well, anyway, so I check him out. He's probably one of the best, like, guide people on U4, I think. Probably. I don't know. I didn't really check out his other videos, but that one seems really good, so. Wait, wait, wait. If you're a single-player nerd, you have to do this, right? Fuck morale. 1C, just so much better. I think this is the way to go for single player. The question is this or this, but I'm pretty sure the three engagement with this better than 5% morale. But I'm not sure. That's my guess. Alright, who wants the name? Give me a name. Nerd. Alright. Rude. Alright. Wow, Bohemia's just building cannons. Interesting. Can I go like this and that? Alright, I'll do the... Loop. Wait, no, I can just send 3k here. You wanna peace out now, or...? Okay. Do I want a long truce with him? Let's see. When do I have, like, a gap? Ottomans, 1498. England, 1499. Okay, so I have a bit of a gap. Mm, nah. I think I should just aim for a... Yeah, max truce on him.
Oh, Bud's just alive. Neat. Um. So we go here. They're not my troops. Let's check Hungary's manpower. Okay, they actually don't have that much manpower to assault this. Um, yeah, because I need to siege this, this, and that, right? This guy's blocking access here, so probably good to assault. Although, I think Poland's actually... Ah, yeah, let's just assault it. They're not my troops. I'm just gonna put all my cannons here. Oh no, Pagus. <laughs> um, I'll just make. Actually, let's make Aragon pay for it. Alright, so, as for conversions, might be better to actually convert this guy, unless he's converting by his own. He is. Although, not, like, well. I mean, he's doing pretty well, actually. Also, why does he have two missionaries? Do you have religious, my friend? Oh, you do. Cool. So yeah, I should probably convert Syria then. I mean, Syria also is religious. What? Why does everyone have religious? Well, yeah, I'll convert Syria. I'm gonna try to get prestige. I have not recorded myself explaining how this one works. I have, however, made a spreadsheet of uh, 
notes for my own use, which might be a slightly helpful. It's not particularly meant to like um, explain things, but I think it's still somewhat helpful. I'm starting to organize my unit. So this guy already has 10 cannons. Let's do that. Right. Or this seems about. So Bokemia is basically done. I'm just sticking around for... For what? Why am I sticking around? Arguably I'm sticking around to peace out Unhalt. What could I even want from him? If I stick around I can get 10 prestige. It's something. I could also peace out now and do something else. What would I do if I were to peace out now? I would probably... Yeah, I would just go for it. I would rival Ottomans and then start my wars. The so-called total wars. And I uh, do exclamation plan. I guess I'm also gonna get army tradition, but like, why do I care about army tradition? So I can build more generals. Uh, I have a decent enough amount of generals already. <laughs> what if I wait till the annual pick for AE Decay? Does that matter? Actually, let's put it this way. Suppose I go for the Union now. What happens? Mamluks joins, but he's truced. Uh, Bohemia is... well, Bohemia. Bremen... Actually, a decent chunk of people will join. Let's take a look at Salzburg, for example, 24. Yeah, I would say one more annual tick and then PU Bohemia. And once I win a Fort Siege, I should take the moment to hire some generals. So, there is one minor problem with what I said. Castile might declare on Tunis. So, maybe I should change plans. Yeah, I don't know if I'll get coalitioned here. Do you think I'll get coalitioned? I hope not. Or maybe I'm fine. Four days. Well, it looks like Castile isn't declaring. That's annoying. Well, it looks like Castillo isn't declaring. So I'll aim for a January 1st peace deal. And 
And then I'm gonna hire some generals. I, I want like a four siege. I want more four sieges. That did not work. Got three siege though. And maybe while I'm here, I can actually uh, peace out. Also, I forgot about him. Let's not forget about him next one. So hopefully no crazy coalitions. Uh, I'm not even sure if something changed, but yeah. So I do that. Okay, welcome. So I think this is ham time. It's kind of annoying that Bohemia doesn't have claims. I wish Bohemia just had like claims everywhere here. This guy has claims. Good job. Yep, I think it is. 
So let's doubt Tunis, Colin Castile. Still wants that. Well, I'm gonna feed Fafial to these things. It's totally fine. What? Hey, Castile, these are mine. Okay, so we open with Tunisdale. Oh, also, my vessel is finally coring stuff, so that's like an excuse to wait, I guess. <clears throat> I should get myself the claim, though, so I'm gonna seize Leone. Or, no, 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 they finished coring. Okay. So I'm gonna seize this. That'll connect my cap. Oh, ooh. So do I just integrate him? How would that affect my opinion here? Minus 60, minus 55 on top of this. Can I deal with that? Yeah, I can deal with that for this dude. How about this dude? Probably. Looks similar. How about this dude? Yep. Uh, this dude? No. Could just return. It's going to cost me 10 prestige. Okay, in that case, forget it. I'll just integrate them mid-war, probably. And then get claims whenever I need it. So, Tyrol and Styria now needs to be scudaged. Are they? They are. Are all the vessels I want to integrate being scudged? Yep, they are. Okay, so I think we're good. Um, if I feed these two, uh, I'll get full cores when I integrate them. So I'll probably do that. Admin stealing hacks. Okay, Dow Tunis, then start with these guys, right? Start with however much I can Cobell off of here, then branch out. Yeah, seems good. All right. Let's do it. Tunis first. Just gonna let Castile do all the work.
How many missionaries? I think 12. I forgot. Well, either way, a lot. So these guys can apparently join a coalition. Rude. I'll give them a few ticks. By the way, if I get a theologist, get this guy. Yeah, 0.5. So there are no, like, not... Yeah, there are no like war conditions or peace conditions, so let's just go for it. Ready? Everyone ready?
Accepting would destabilize. Who was that? I don't remember who uh, caused this to happen. Wait, this doesn't matter, right? I can just call them in later. Wait, I can just call them in after, right? It doesn't matter if... Let me just test it. Pretty sure I can just call them in after. So it doesn't matter if they'll join here or not. So, here, just to experiment, I have a safe file, okay. So Pullum's not joining now, but pretty sure they'll just join regardless. Oh, fuck. So I have to, I have to make sure Poland actually joins. Is this lit? What do you mean? This is hab. Lit is over there. Okay, let me know once you see Poland not joining. So good. Ah, three leads. We can't do this guy. Which is unfortunate because I'm pretty sure this guy's not full annexable. Can't do Trier. Oh, who was that? Leaps. Okay, can't do that. Bremen, yep. Saxony, okay. Uh, Baden, okay. Trent. Corsica, Bregenz, okay, so far so good, Riga, yeah, keep going, Lübeck, Zee, Hamburg, Denmark, nope, not Denmark, wait, Really? I kind of don't want Denmark then. I'm not griefing, I'm just killing all the Jerry before they pull the shimmy. Okay, who called in Denmark? Where did you come from? Ah, uh, do I have to just redo everything? Oh, wait. Denmark has the following allies. Let's see. Who? Uh, Bremen, East Tricia. Okay, so I can't co build those guys. Bremen, where are you? Now we're good. Okay, Brunswick. Magdeburg. Nope, no Magdeburg. Uh, Palatinate. No Palatinate. Right. Milan. Yep, Milan's good. Uh, Augsburg. Aachen. Okay. 
giga over boom maximum bag. We then know because they're allied to England. Devonian. Suffer. Alright. Liege. Just. Nope, not them. My bad. And. Loose. Alright, I think that's it. Botanet, Magdeburg can't do. This guy is not joining. Okay. Bremen can't do. Trier can't do. Cleves can't do. Oops, types. Three leagues can't do. Ah, uh, Muscovy, where did you come from? I don't want to deal with Muscovy. Riazan. How did Muscovy come in? I did not cobalt any of them, so they must be guaranteeing someone. Who could they be guaranteeing? Switzerland? Sorry, not Switzerland, Sweden? Uh, England, Riga, Lubeck, Stit. Okay, so I need to not cobalt Riga and Lubeck. Wait, no, that doesn't make sense, because I didn't Cobell of Sweden. How, how is Muscovy coming in? Oh, it does? Oh, cool. Thanks. Livonian order. Got it. So, no Livonian order. Okay. I think this is good. I could try to pull Sweden off. Riga is allied with... I see. So if I don't Cobell Riga, what happens? Uh, this interface could use a bit more work. Okay, I think I'm okay with this. Let's do this. Alright. Big war. Are we... Yep. I'm annexing them just to avoid the coalition. I'm annexing them and releasing those vassals. There are like two, <laughs> that is fair. All right, let go. Isn't this kind of like World War One? Maybe a bit like World War Two as well? Eh, not really. I, I only got the France and Soviet Union part, right? What about your Diplo points? Well, oh, no, no, no. Like, I'm not going to release all of them. I'm going to release one and then feed most of them. I can feed up to 100 OE, right? Which is like 133 dev, I think. 